Hi, I'm Nana Gill and I want to be a superhero! And this week, the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of <laughs> sight! Huh. Just imagine all of the cool things that I could do with the power of super sight. I could see in the dark, I could see through walls or whoa, see that spider, see that spider, uh, hey spider, ah! okay, um, it's moving, um, hey spider on the ceiling, I am, um, I see you and you're hanging upside down and maybe you should just stay there a while, um, I wonder if spiders actually just see upside down all the time, like if they do, then maybe they never see the right way up because they're always hanging upside down. Oh, that's weird. Do you know what? Maybe we could get some spider power by making something that helps us to see upside down too. Today, we're gonna make a special camera. It's called a pinhole camera. And for this, you are going to need some baking paper, tin foil, two sheets of card, preferably black if you can, a pencil, a pen, scissors, plastic band, and some tape. So light is always traveling around us. It hits and bounces off surfaces, and we can see because light bounces off all the objects around us, and they reflect into our eyes. Now, our eyes are actually really complicated parts of our body. If we could look inside our eyes, we would see a clear, curved, jelly-like shape. That's called the lens. This is the first part of your eye that light meets when it comes in. The light that enters our eyes has been reflected off objects that are all different distances from us. If our lenses were flat instead of curved, everything would look blurry. But our lenses focus the light into a nice sharp image on our retina. But the thing is, it's upside down. So our brains do the work to flip everything the right way up. Which is good, otherwise we'd all fall over. We can prove this by making a pinhole camera. And this camera has a flat lens instead of a curved one, like in our eyes. To see what would happen if our eyes were actually flat instead of curved, we're gonna look through this camera and see how weird the world will be. So the first step is we're gonna make a tube with one piece of the card by rolling it up. Now, sometimes it helps to roll it around something that's already around. So I'm gonna take this baking paper I'm gonna roll it there, and then we're gonna tape it so that it doesn't open back up. Okay, so this is our first tube. I can see you. Next, we're gonna make a slightly bigger tube. So to do that, use your first tube to roll into your next tube. And you want enough space that they can slide together. And then take this one too. Okay, so now you have two tubes. One of them is slightly smaller than the other one. Take the smaller tube and you're gonna cut off enough baking paper that it will cover the top. So cut out a square or a rectangle of baking paper and then you want to tape it into place. I find the easiest way to do that is actually to put an elastic band over the top first. And you want to pull it through so that there are no creases. That's very important. Okay, so once it's nice and secure, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the same elastic band, we're gonna take the bigger tube and we're gonna cover the end in foil. So the same way, take a square of foil instead of baking paper, try not to crinkle it, and then you're gonna put it over the top, holding securely with the rubber band. And then try and pull out all the little creases. And then the final part you want to do is take a very sharp pencil or a pin and pop a hole in the end. As small a hole as possible makes for a better pinhole camera. Okay, now to put the two together, you're gonna to slide the smaller tube with the baking paper inside the bigger tube to make something that you can change the length of. Okay, now it's time to test it out. So we're gonna look at something really bright outside the window and I'm gonna pull this back and it will slowly start to come into Focus. Oh look, there it is, that's about my focal length and everything's upside down. That's really cool. And if you want this to work really well, go outside on a bright day and then take a dark blanket and put it over your head so that no light can get close to your eye. That's so cool. Look, everything's upside down. The table's upside down, the lamp's upside down, the spider, the spider's not there anymore. Ah, the spider's here. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. Right, 
Uh, oh, do you know who want to see this? Nano Nano Girl. Hold on. Take a look. Nano Nano Girl, take a look inside this pinhole camera. You will love it. Okay, you have to hold it up to your eye and then look inside. Do you see? Uh-oh. I just dropped her in there. I think she might be a bit too small for this. I might, might have to I have to find her. I think we're going to need to make her a much, much smaller one. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed making yours and I will see you tomorrow for another day of building superpowers that hopefully will help us to get the super sight superpowers that we want. How's it looking in the Nano Nano Girl? Do you want me to try and get you out? Is that better? No? Much worse. I'll figure it out in a minute. Sorry. See you later. Bye, spider. Don't move. <laughs>